Yo, yo, people, welcome back to Ron's Tech Hub. And today I'm going to be showing you how to install the firmware for the Zim Matrix. This is a beta firmware. And the date of this update is the 3rd of October 2024. So let's jump into this one. Skip ahead if you don't want to know all the features that are actually in this. If you've read it already, skip ahead. This is going to be me simply scrolling through and telling you to pause the video if you want to read every single thing that's in here. I'm going to try and focus on the thing that I am most interested in. So pause the video at each scroll to read what you want to read. The thing that I'm most interested in here is called Zim Matrix Cloud. So if I search and I put look for cloud, this section here, let me zoom all the way in. It says Zim Config Cloud, integration of Zim config cloud online config sharing and discovery repository what this tells me i've seen it on zim central but what this tells me straight away is that there's going to be a feature where i can log into the app and download onto my zim matrix configs that other people have created now this is going to be a big benefit to me because for example i've been wanting to finish the heists in gta 5 for a very long time but i haven't actually sat down and tried to create my own config because of how popular that game is i'm pretty sure someone out there is going to, who has a zim matrix who might create a config and share it with people so that's one of the benefits there this is me on my mobile phone i've logged into the zim matrix website or the zim website as well and as you can see at the very top it says check out our new config sharing and discovery site zim config cloud i will be checking that out but before i do that i'm going to show you guys how to install the update on your phones i'm using an android phone so the process should be relatively similar for iphone but i know there's a test flight thing that you have to be entered for so i don't know how to do that really sorry so for your Android phones, you simply click on where it says a Zim Matrix Download. So let me go back quickly, sorry. Click on Zim Matrix Downloads. And I'm going to want the most up-to-date firmware. I'm going to click on where it says Beta at the top. So click on that. And from here, we have three options. But the most up-to-date one is the one I'm going to go with because I'm assuming that's where we have most of our things fixed. So I'm going to say Zim Matrix Firmware. And again, let's see if I can zoom in. Yep. The date is the 3rd of the 10th, 2024. So you read it backwards. So 2024 is a year. The 10th is the month and 03 is the actual day. I'm going to click on that and I need to scroll and look for Zim Manager, but for Android. And it comes up here. It says download a Zim Matrix. Let me just highlight it quickly. This one there. Download Zim Matrix Manager 2024 and the date is there for Android. I'm going to click on that. That downloads straight away. I can get to it quickly from my notification bar. So I'm going to simply drag that down from the top. And as you can see, it says it there, Zim Matrix Manager. I'm going to click on it and it's going to ask me to update. I am going to click on update. If you do not have this installed already, it should just ask you to install it. The process is more or less the same. You might have to click OK or next a few more times, but that should be it. So that's how you install it on your mobile device. And again, this is specifically for Android. The next step I'm going to show you guys is how to back up your current configs because that's one of the main things you want to do. If you have loads on there, I've only got three on mine. I think they're Fallout 4, Fallout 76 and Space Marines 2. But I'm going to show you how to back it up quickly and then show you how to upgrade or update the firmware. But I'm using a Windows PC. If you have a Mac, you need to download the one in blue here. Because I have Windows, I'm going to download the first one here. So I'm going to click on the firmware tool. The, again, the date needs to match the same thing we downloaded earlier. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to download here for me i'm going to open my downloads folder and bring it across this is what i have here so i'm going to simply double click on this to open it perfect it comes up with this tool here so i need to connect the zim matrix to my pc and again you're going to need to have a usb c cable to plug into your pc and you will need to be able to press and hold a button on your zim matrix so I'm going to grab my cable, plug the USB-C end into the Zim Matrix. Then I'm going to press and hold the button on the Zim Matrix now. So I'm pressing and holding it down now. And then I'm going to plug the cable into my PC to put it into download mode or recovery mode, whatever you call it. Once you hear that PC connecting sound, that means that the Zim Matrix is connected. And I think there should be a solid blue light on the S. Is it right there? There should be a solid blue light. Before I do anything, I'm going to back up my config. So I'm going to click back up here. I'm going to probably stick this in my downloads folder because it's quite empty at the moment. You stick it wherever you want. Back up. It's going to ask me where I want to put it. I'm going to click on downloads here. And then I'm just going to uh, maybe put the date in here as well. So I'm going to put a dash here. And today's date is the 25th-10. 
dash 2024. So I know exactly when I back this up myself. If this doesn't work, when you try to restore, all I would need to do is to get rid of everything that I typed in myself. I'm going to click on save. That's going to back everything up. And once that's done, I should be good to go. Now, once you've done your backup, I'm going to do um, an update and the update should get me onto the firmware. That's the beta firmware. So I'm going to click update now, uh, ready to upgrade your firmware. I'm just going to click yes and see what happens. Dating, updating. Okay, flash complete. This is really good. I did not actually did this now. So it tells you the flash is complete. I can click OK. Um, it disconnects the app straight away. I'm going to unplug my Zim matrix from my PC so it loses power. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go onto my phone and I'm going to try to connect to my Zim matrix using the new app. I'm back on my Android device again. And what I'm going to do first is plug my Zim matrix into my PC just to give it power. I'm not going to do any updates or anything. It's just so I can power it. So I can then connect to it using the new beta app. So I'm plugging in now. Yeah, my lights come on. I am connected. So now I'm going to open my app. I'm going to click on Zim Matrix here. I already have had the app installed. So I'm guessing all it did was overwrite what you needed to overwrite. And it's still the same app. So I'm going to click on Zim Matrix here. So see if it's going to connect. See if it's going to connect. Okay, click connect there. Lights flashing. Nothing connecting. All right, try again. What I am going to do is because it might see this as the very first time it's connecting. So I'm going to press the connection button on the Zim Matrix once and see what happens. So I'm going to press it now and I'm going to click connect again and let's see if it comes up. I didn't actually read the message that came up. It says a Zim Manager required manager version and it gives the date, which is the beta firmware. So I'm guessing the update didn't work properly. So what I am going to do is show the full process of how to get rid of the data for this and reinstall the app. I'm going to go to settings on my phone. So just look for the settings app on your phone. PQRS is the settings app there. Yes, here. Then I'm going to go down to where it says apps. So that one there, I'm going to click on that. Click on see all apps if you don't see it on the list there. Mine is Zim Matrix, so it should be all the way at the very bottom. Zim Matrix Manager. I'm going to press on that. And does it give the version here? I don't think it would. No, it does. It says 19.02.2024. So I'm guessing the update didn't work. So what I am going to do instead is I am going to go to Storage and Cache. I'm going to clear storage, delete everything, go back, then I'm going to uninstall the app and click OK. I already had the app downloaded earlier, so I should just be able to go to my downloads folder and get access to it. So if I just swipe up and I go to my files thing, my file manager, I think I probably changed it. So let's go to this one here. I'm going to go to main storage. Then on the left hand side here where it says downloads, I'm going to click on that. I am going to click or is it Zim Matrix? Yeah, that one at the very, very end. I'm going to click on that and hopefully go to settings, allow from source, click install. Let's see what happens. A bit long winded, but sometimes Android does that where you update an app manually and it doesn't actually work. That should now be the newest version. But let's just double check before we click open. I'm going to click done. Close that again. I'm going to go to settings again this time. Settings here. I'm going to go to the Zim Matrix Manager app there. Scroll all the way down to the very bottom. And now the date has changed to 03-10-2024, reading it backwards. Remember, you read it backwards. So 2024 is a year, 10 is the month, and 03 is the actual day. That should now be the correct app. So when I open my app tray again and scroll down and open it, uh, continue, accept, uh, okay, I need to download something again. So let's download that. Let's just wait for that to finish. If you uninstall the app, it might just work normally, but I like to delete the data and the cache before I do anything else. It's just something that stuck in my head. Click OK. It's trying to connect. I'm going to click Allow. Uh, anything coming up? Okay, I'm going to press that button on the Zoom Matrix again because this is the first time that this specific version of the app is connecting. So I've pressed the button. Let's see what happens. I'm going to swipe the app off screen. So I'm going to close it, swipe that off screen, go to home again, go to my apps tray and click on Zim Matrix one more time. Uh, let's see if anything happens without me pressing the button. No, pressing that button once so it starts flashing blue. Let's see if that connects now. I did have to swipe that off a few times and then it just works straight away. So the app looks slightly new the only thing that's changed really is the cloud icon in the top left hand corner under the pencil so that icon where my finger is moving there i'm going to click on the cloud icon and see what i have so far okay so it just takes me to the website let's see what we have the finals no recall one percent aim assist black ops 3 
gyms configs okay so i'm guessing these are the people who do stuff so let's click on mj fame zim matrix edition okay so you seem to be able to copy the code directly from the website paste it into your zim matrix and then you just have that person's config ready to go thank you guys for watching now the next thing i'm going to do on the zim matrix i'm going to show the steps in video format obviously on how to use a zim config cloud to create a new config and copy settings that other people have given so stay tuned for that one thank you